In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Via Belt Bag, a kind of clutch that you can use with one of your own belts to carry as a crossbody over one shoulder or around the waist, including clasps and lining to carry what you need for the day. It's made with crochet with back and forth technique with a half double crochet variant to resemble a knit ribbing. Find the link to the written instructions and more details about this pattern in the description of this video. You'll need a 4.5 mm crochet hook, a 3.5 mm crochet hook, one 100 g skein of sport weight cotton yarn in green, one 100 g skein of sport weight cotton yarn in aqua, 0.3 yards of fabric for lining, regular sewing thread in green, regular sewing thread in contrasting color, square ruler, a stitch marker, two sets of clasps in silver, pins, measuring tape, tapestry needle, sewing needle, and scissors. We'll start with the main piece, which is crocheted back and forth and started from one of the sides. Hold green and aqua together and leave long tails at the beginning. And with 4.5 mm crochet hook, chain 65. And starting in second chain from the hook, half double crochet 64, yarn over, insert hook in second chain, yarn over, pull through the chain, yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook, repeat in next chain, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook. And continue by making one half double crochet in each following chain until completing 64 stitches. And row 1 is finished with 64 stitches. For row 2, turn the work. Chain 1. And we'll make half double crochet back bar. Yarn over. If we made regular half double crochet, we would insert the hook in the stitch, but we need to work its back bar variant. So we'll take back bar of first stitch. We have the yarn over. Insert hook from bottom to top. By taking back bar of half double crochet from last row, Yarn over, pull through back bar, yarn over, and pull through three loops on the hook. And we've completed first half double crochet back bar. Repeat for next stitch, yarn over, and take back bar of next stitch. Observe your work to identify where we would usually make a regular half double crochet. to recognize the back bar more easily. So, once with the yarn over, insert hook from bottom to top, taking the back bar, yarn over, pull through the back bar, yarn over, and pull through three loops on the hook. To complete, second half double crochet back bar. Yarn over, take back bar of next stitch, taking care to always take green and aqua together, yarn over, pull through the back bar, yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook, 
and do the same for every following stitch. You'll notice that a pattern starts to shape on the opposite side and with the progress of rows this will shape the ribbing. Continue with half double crochet back bar in every stitch. And to complete the row, make sure to take back bar of last half double crochet. And row 2 is finished with 64 half double crochets back bar and the ribbing pattern that starts to shape. For row 3, turn the work and we'll repeat row 2. Chain 1 and we'll continue with half double crochets back bar. Yarn over, take the back bar of first stitch, yarn over, Pull through back bar, yarn over and close first half double crochet back bar. Make half double crochet back bar in every following stitch. making sure to make half double crochet back bar in last stitch to complete the row. And row 3 is finished with 64 half double crochets back bar. For following rows, we'll repeat the same steps. Turn the work, chain 1, and half double crochet back bar in each stitch to complete 64 stitches. This is the end of row 4 with 64 half double crochets back bar and with the ribbing pattern already shaping on both sides. Identify the number of rows that you have made by taking a closer look. This will be very helpful to count them more easily. 1 2 3 and four rows. Continue with rows of one chain and 64 half double crochets back bar until completing 21 rows. And this is the work by the end of row 21 with 64 stitches. Fast enough leaving long tails for sewing. And the main piece is finished with the ribbing pattern on both sides.
we'll continue with the belt loop, which is crocheted in the round in a spiral and starting from one end. With green and 3.5mm crochet hook, chain 14. And taking care not to twist the foundation chains, insert hook in first made chain. Yarn over. Pull through the chain, yarn over, and close. We have completed first single crochet of round one and closed in the round at the same time. Place a marker in this first stitch and continue by making one single crochet in every following chain to complete 14 stitches. And round 1 is finished with 14 stitches. For round 2, remove the marker, single crochet 1 in first stitch, place the marker, and single crochet 1 in every following stitch, until completing 14 stitches. And round 2 is finished with 14 stitches. From rounds 3 to 25, continue in the same way by making 14 single crochets in every round. And this is the work by the end of round 25. Remove the marker, make a slip stitch in next stitch, Fast enough, leaving a long tail for sewing, and the belt loop is finished. Just weave in the beginning tail. We'll continue with the finishing to shape the back. Place one side of the clasps on the right side of the main piece, 2 cm from the edge, and 5 cm from each side. and fasten on the opposite side. Repeat with the opposite sides of the clasps over the opposite edge of the main piece on the right side, taking care that they remain aligned by guiding ourselves with the ribbing pattern. Then fold the main piece over the short edge with the long tails by leaving a 13.5 cm flap on top, pin to keep in place, guide yourself with the ribbing pattern to make sure distances on both sides are symmetrical, and with tapestry needle Take the outer loops of one stitch on one side and the outer loops of stitch on the opposite side. The outer loops of next stitch on one side
and the outer loops of next stitch on the opposite side. And continue going down until reaching the fold. And one of the sides is seamed. Fasten enough on the inside of the bag and join the other side by taking outer loops of one stitch on one side and the outer loops of one stitch on the opposite side. In the same way, downwards until reaching the fold. And the second side is seamed. Fold 6 cm of the flap inwards, pin to keep in place, and again guide yourself with the ribbing pattern to make sure both sides are symmetrical. And pin from the center as well. Close the flap before making the final seam to make sure the ribbing pattern is aligned. And with sewing needle and sewing thread in green, close the sides and join the edge to the inner part of the flap. taking care to insert the ribbing pattern correctly and until closing the other side of the flap. And the seam of the flap is finished from the inner part of the bag and the back side of the bag. For the lining, fold the fabric in half with right sides together and press to create a crease. Lay the crochet back over the fabric, lining up bottom fold with the folded edge of the lining and draw small marks for width and length of the bag until the opening. Remove the bag and draw the complete outline by using the square ruler. Pin the fabric to keep in place and cut out the lining, adding a 1.5 allowance to the sides and a 2.5 allowance at the top. Machine sew the side seams only. Fold and press the top allowance to the wrong side and cut out notches over the four corners. Press the side allowances to the wrong side and baste all around the lining edge with thread in contrasting color. Place the lining inside the bag, lining up side seams and bottom fold. Then pin all around the opening. Turn the bag inside out to make it easier. Continue pinning to complete the opening.
based all around the edge with thread in contrasting color. And finally, hand sew around the lining edge to the crochet work with sewing thread in green. Remove baste stitches, turn the back inside out, and the lining has been joined to the crochet work. Center the belt loop over the back side of the bag, lining up the upper edge with the bag opening. Pin to keep in place. Making sure there are 4.5 cm on each side of the bag. And with tapestry needle, join the inner part of the belt loop to the back side of the bag. By seaming both ends. and the top and bottom edges of the loop. And the belt loop is seamed to the back by leaving the open ends for the belt to go through. And the bag is finished. From the front and the back side. Use it to fit in basics for a traveling day or those days when you only need to take the essentials. Insert one of your belts that has a 2 cm strap approximately and the VIA belt pack is ready to go with you over one of your shoulders to take out your belongings super fast or around the waist to give it a different look and even as a clutch only which makes a very versatile accessory try with your yarns at home to make cute combinations 